Hi everyone, this is Rosanna and here to share with you some Valentine's projects that I've been working on. Let me show you first this one over here and this is from the balsa the new the new balsa boxes from Michaels and I just gesso it and then I distress with my favorite tool right now is this one over here from Prima and I just got this from my uh, internet deal that include includes the the knife the self healing pad and this tool so I love it <laughs> so then I put uh, some bling on the back and the paper collection that I use for for this project is this one over here from my mind's eye I got just this from Hobby Lobby and I just um, cut this part over here put this little heart put some tool on the back and put this little metal corners and this um, was a ring that I just um, take apart the the back part this stretchy twin that I got in Hobby Lobby and then in the inside I, I didn't show you this I just put a piece of the paper collection lace um, fabric and then put some pearl trim over here in both sides and in the inside, I just put some flowers, some rosette flowers. And these are from Gisela. I will put the link of her store. She got amazing rosette trims at, at really good price. And she's a doll. <laughs> so in the inside, as you can see, some I put some little goodies. I put some um, lace laces in these clothes that I just got at Michael's. Isn't that pretty? Third one. Oops. And this other one. I love this clothing. And a little baggy, a glassy baggy. Um, uh, put some do, how do you say that? do that <laughs> some pearls, buttons and put this beautiful clip over here and this is the inside this is a really good idea for a crafty friend Everyone is asking me f uh, for the glassine bag that I altered, I embossed it. It's very easy. I just make a uh, Valentine one. Um, you, need, you need, sorry, you need an inkjet printer and then you just uh, set the, the size of the glassine bag and the size that the image and set the image in the center of the size and all that stuff and the size and you just print uh, the image directly on the glassine bag and then right it gets out before it gets dry you need to put the embossing powder powder the I use the clear, clear one you use the embossing powder and that's it it's very very easy it's very easy and it turned out very cute and beautiful and you can even um, personalize it you can put the name of the person or something the crea creativity is endless so I just made this one but I didn't embellish uh, it so let me share with you 
these other cute ones that I made. Isn't that cute? So these little ones that I just made, I use, oops, everything is falling. I use these um, craft bags that I got um, a while back at Target and oh my gosh why didn't I get why did, didn't I get more of those <laughs> now I would get regret it <laughs> but anyway um, I just do the same technique with the glassing bag as you can see print Print the image directly on the bag and then just put the embossing powder. Put some flowers over here, some trees, and then I just stamp this in the clear um, sheet. And put some bling, and that's it. And this cute, oops, it's backwards. <laughs> This cute little clothespin, I just made it. Isn't that cute? Um, I found this clothespin at Walmart. They were two forty nine, I think, and it comes with twenty. And I just made some in that color. You need only to paint them and put some glitter on the top. And that's it. Isn't that gorgeous? So cute. And let me share with you the other one. This one it turned out so cute. Sorry for the glare. I don't know if you can appreciate the image. Sorry, that was my daughter. <laughs> She's a little bit sick. So, I put some trims over here. This one I got from Hobby Lobby. And it got uh, sequins. This um, bling trim. <laughs> and this other lace over here. And I just do this banner with a clear sheet and stamp. I use this stamp that I just got from Joanne. And I love it. The sentiment, all you need is love and XOXO. And let me share with you this other one that I made with the same image that I just put in the glassine bag. Isn't that cute? This trim is from Hobby Lobby too. I love this trim. Put some pearl trim, some flowers, some bling, and do the same with the, the clear sheet and the clothing. Isn't that cute? And this other thing that I was working on right now I found let me share with you I found um, from the internet these um, Valentine's images little Valentine images just put vintage images um, Valentine images and you can find those And look what I did with those. I just um, made like a uh, art tile. Put some two pieces of chipboard together. And I just with my glitter pens. I don't know if you can see that. The shimmer. Isn't that cute? Let me share with you the other one that I just made. 
and then I put the glossy accents on top of, of the image. Isn't that cute? This one I just finished. This one I didn't. I need to paint the the borders and put some glossy accents. Isn't that cute? Let me share with you the other one that I made. I need to put some glossy accent too in this one. But I don't know if you can see the shimmer. That's a good idea when you can um do with the images that you print out from the internet. You can just use a, use your um, glitter pens your gel pens, sorry and uh, this one doesn't has the shimmer but isn't that cute? I love it so these are my first Valentine projects that I wanted to share with you let me leave you with the images <laughs> this image um, these are my Valentine's projects that I've been working on and that I wanted to share with you so you can um, make some, some for yourself and hope you get inspired and create and any question let me know thanks everybody for watching and ah, for my new new service thanks everybody for um, Leave me some beautiful comments and and subbing and talk to you guys later, okay? Bye.